Now there's a new uh, view in Word called uh, Read Mode. Uh, that's really useful if you're using something like a tablet or even if you want to view it on your laptop, you want to read a document. So rather than having to kind of scroll through your document in the traditional set, uh, sense, what it'll do, it'll lay it on the screen uh, to make it as easy as read as possible, easy to read as possible. So here's my document. Um, I'm going to put it into read mode. So I go to my view tab, go to my read mode button. And this is how it appears by default. So um, <clears throat> one thing I can do to kind of scroll through the pages is to use these little navigation buttons on the left and the right. Now what you're going to notice is, is that the pagination of the uh, content or the way the content is laid out isn't how it's going to print, it's how it fits on the screen best. So I've got two columns um, and a number of pages, but obviously it's not going to print out like this. Um, I can actually switch to a view where I could see how it would print out. I go to view layout and then choose paper layout and you can see how different it looks and it actually prints. But again, that's not really so good for reading on the screen, so I'm just going to switch back uh, to my column layout view. Now, at any point you want to come out of this review, you can go to view edit document. It just takes you back into the edit mode. Another uh, quicker way of going back into read mode is to use a little button down here on your status bar. I don't know if you can see that. It's called the read mode button. Click on that. That takes me uh, straight back into read mode. Now, if you've used um, heading styles in your um, document, uh, heading styles where, you know, like heading one, heading two, heading three, if you're used to using that sort of thing, you can use something on the view menu called navigation pane. Now, you may have seen this in Word before. And what it allows you to do is where I have got headings, it allows me to navigate to the relevant part of the document. So it acts like a kind of clickable table of contents as such. That'll only work though if you have used heading styles. I'll just close that navigation pane down. Um, <clears throat> now there's lots of little options in here that you're going to find useful. For example, if you've got things like graphics, let me find a graphic somewhere in here in my document. Let's take, uh, for example, this smart art. Now, there may be a lot of detail in the smart art, or maybe you've got a chart, there's a lot of detail on here, and you just want a better look at it little bit more detail now if I double click on the chart it zooms in on the chart so the documents in the background the pictures come to the front I can even zoom in a little bit more if I want to with this little magnifier button zoom back out which is quite nice if I want to zoom out again I just click back into the document and it goes back now there's some handy handy little reference tools that you can also use if I right click into a word uh, I've got define here click on Define. That'll open up a little task pane, um, a little message box rather, and it will give me um, a definition um, of a particular word. Now, this text is not particularly uh, uh, <coughs> language rich. Um, it's just kind of some default text here, so it's not coming up with a definition for me there, but it would for you. Um, you can also use translation tools, or you can search for your term within Bing whatever you want to do. If you're looking for a particular word, you could go to view and, uh, sorry, tools and then find, and you could go off and find a particular bit of text as well. That actually opens up the task pane. So um, if I was looking for a word in the document, type it in and you can see over here, it's actually highlighted the text in yellow as of where it appears. It also shows a, a set of results down here. I could click on a result and it would take me to that part of the document, which is quite nice. Similar sort of fine tools that you find when you normally look at a Word document. Now, uh, something that really is useful, if I just close down this navigation pane, is the fact you can add comments to this document. Um, now, if I was to select some text, right click on the text and go to new comment, you can see it opens up a little window for me and it's got my little picture on there because I'm logged in uh, to my account um, and I could write uh, a little note. Uh, maybe I'm being asked to review the document. Uh, someone else has created the document and they've asked me to review it so I could write a little comment. Um, you can even reply to comments actually. I know I'd be talking to myself. Um, 
but if it was someone else their picture would come up there and you can have uh, just adds a little bit of extra feature really to uh, the review tools there okay uh, you can highlight text as well if it's something that you kind of you're reading something oh that's really good that's important i must remember that I can select the text right click go to the highlighter tool and highlight with a particular color which is quite nice now if you find kind of a white background with black text a little bit difficult to view and read uh, one thing you can do is if you go up to your view uh, menu you go to page color and you can for example show a sepia that's not so obvious but if i went to uh, inverse black and white uh, you may find that easier to read i'm just going to switch back you can also change the number of columns so if i go to column width uh, and go to narrow i get three columns um, the default is two which i quite like uh, but you can also say wide It's up to you, whatever's easiest to read. Okay, so uh, read mode, uh, especially good, I should imagine, if you're on a tablet or something like that and you want to be reading a document, works well, a bit like a Kindle, doesn't it, really?